Hello, welcome Ascended Stars. Today is October 1st. Incredible, we made it. So, uh, gonna do a random read and see what is coming in. I have to have my window open because my air conditioner is broken, so I apologize. I have some background music, um, so hopefully that will kind of, I don't know, you won't, you'll, you know, it's getting morning, it is morning here, so people are driving, and I have to have the window open, and I live on a main street, very close to the freeway, a couple blocks away, but this, this main street is like a freeway, <laughs> a little bit, okay, so we're going to go into it. Let's see what the energies bring for us today, Spirit. Let's see. Um, I'm, go I'm going back to an old deck. I'm going back like... This is my first deck. And um, I'm being called to it. So let's see what we have uh, for today, for the message of today. Spirit, thank you so much for all this new energy, Aries, new moon, cleaning out house, clearing Pisces energy, Aries, the age of Pisces going, this is a real big deal, uh, okay, and for the future things that are coming to us, please reveal for anyone that's listening the messages that need to come through for you, and uh, for this day, and for whenever time, in tarot land you watch this reading all right so let's okay and i want to get some uh, numerology and some astrology cards so we're gonna just Place these, I guess, accordingly to where they fit. Okay, now I'm going to get some astrological cards. I want more numerology cards, but for now, I think this is just, like, going to do us. Alright. It's exciting. It's a brand new full moon. Feels good, people. If you, if you, if you go... If you go and meditate and, and hit earth, you know, go into the earth element. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have. Nine of Wands. Try to fix my lighting a little bit more. Nine of Wands. This is a time of um, really using our wisdom. It does seem stressful push, getting up that hill and attaining what we want. It, it's not easy. For some, they don't even want to try. You know, they don't even want to try, but, but they have to. Because why? They put themselves in a situation where it's try or die. Or life has put, it, put you in a situation where it's try or die. Where's this past coming from? Three of Cups, it's a, uh, a division of energy here. You know, we have to understand that when we divide our time, our energy, um, you're not giving a whole, a, one person a whole complete version of yourself. And when we start dividing ourselves, like uh, walking on eggshells for one person and then another person, we can cry on their shoulders and then another person feeds us and gives us food all the time and takes us out. And, you know, so we have one person for emotional needs, one person for our physical needs, another person for spiritual needs. I mean, that, yes, that happens, but it just seems like. I don't know. I get the energy of being used when I when I pick this card. Ten of Pentacles. This could be a karmic. Your family. You're dealing with your your family. The karma and the family. Um, this could be a generational curse down the uh, the dark femme line. 
I'm a, I would say that I was going to say the divine, but it's really the dark femme. And it's just a curse that happens, and it happens to her children, too. And the um, challenge, the, the, The struggle of the past is being, uh, remaining single and stable, single and stable. The Empress. So on my channel, I've been getting the Empress and the energy a lot. So there's a lot of creativity here that wants to come out. It wants to be birthed. It wants to be expressed. A message, a message is coming, a sweet message here of that. So uh, in this next, next cycle, you'll be having sweet messages. Maybe this is also, because um, we're going to go retrograde into Mercury, this is also connecting with those of, of like mind, okay? I'll give you a second message for the past. Connecting now. You know who to connect with. Like you, you, you have an eye where you want to connect. You have a target. And these are people that are of your tribe, karmically. And now you're in that position where you're ready to go and uh, blast out, blast off and begin these projects. And uh, at this point in time, you're single doing this. There could have been a point in time where you're like, I can't do it. I need help. I need to get somebody to help me. That's the Piscean energy. I'm, I'm, you know, poor me, come help me. Um, that's the Piscean energy, you know, so that... That's gone. That's good. So now you're ready to just talk and be who you are and get going and get on track. And you have nothing but nice, kind things to say to people. And I think you'll be uh, well received with this energy. What's hidden? What's this is like, you know, what's hidden? The subconscious, unconscious. You already stepped into the world, baby. You stepped into it. You're here. It's happening. You are in it. You're in this new world. It has begun. You're today. Today is the first day of your new life. Oh, <laughs> you're motivated by love. You're motivated by true love. Whoever is watching this is really motivated by connecting to the real divine person that they want to be. Who they they have to become the person that they want to be with. That's what I get, okay? They have to become the person who they want to be with. And this is what's happening. This is what's happening. Oh, my goodness. Nothing but great messages. Page of Cups. Wow. Spirit has brought you together. Your spirit has shined. Spirit is here to reward you for all the good choices you've made in life. If you haven't been making, if you didn't make good choices, watch out. Duck. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, okay. Ten of Cups. <gasps> wow, this reading is fantastic. But you know what? You got to push on through. You got to keep on going. You're going to get the person of your dreams here. If you keep on going, even though it is two nines, it's a struggle. You've been single for a while. Oh, my God. I'm so always single. Why am I always the one, the single one at the party? Or what the heck? And I have so much to give and I got everything going on and you just been wondering why you've been single for so long like why have I been single what's going on with that okay ten of cups and the high priestess you know I just feel this is a confirmation reading that you my divine white light spirit souls um, have made the choices okay and and the slate has run has is now clean with all the karma that you had to carry to get you here keep following your intuition uh, do not share your dreams with other people there's some haters some jokers some slaters um, fakers out there please don't be sharing your, your joy your stuff because it's coming to you big time okay it's coming to you it's coming to you a message you're going to be getting a sweet message perhaps today it's coming to you uh people are going to enjoy your company your ambiance your spirit your are okay it's coming to you so don't be telling people 
and it's so sweet i'm telling you this is so sweet so honey so you're gonna get a cavity of how sweet this stuff is um sweet energy i mean it is like marrow in the bone you know like good good healthy stuff for you okay let's i wow <laughs> i'm happy thank you lord okay saturn this is the, your rewards this is your rewards okay you have passed the test the satarian test the old man test um you're wiser for everything now you're grateful you earned it baby you earned it you made the you earned it by making the right choices uh the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom yeah you said yes to the challenge you said yes when they said will you go will you go be this person represent us this way and walk uh accordingly yes yes i will And then you get there and you're like, shit, this thing ain't easy. Why is everybody not here joining me? I, I'm alone. I'm alone. I feel so alone. I'm alone and golden, right? And and nobody's paying attention to me. Nobody sees my beauty. Nobody cares. Nobody's. Everybody's getting rewarded for all the crummy stuff. For all the fake surgery. For all the illusion. Oh, my child's in Ivy League. You know, like all of this stuff that doesn't really matter. And you're just like, wow, falling behind. Nobody's noticing, you know. I volunteer at my church. I do uh, care for single moms if they need to go to work. Or, you know, whatever it is. Like, I give money when I see people on the streets. You know, it's like, it's all these little things that you do. And it's all who you are. And you're a blessed soul. And, you know, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people with this, with Saturn here, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people are going to not be like this. They're going to go under. They're going to be crushed. And Pluto's gone to going direct as well. Oh, man. The truth of you is coming out. The truth of your beauty. Ha hey, the word is out. You're beautiful. Yeah, you're, you've reached spirituality, 7-7. Seven, seven. I've been seeing this all year long. From the beginning of the year, I saw 7 Seven seven, then seven seven seven, and lately seven 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 seven. I saw that in the month of September. I freaked out. I go, oh my god, that's seven seven seven. So it's really interesting because seven is the seventh house of Libra. It's how you communicate. Um, it's learning to communicate eloquently, efficiently, uh, directly, and diploma 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 with diplomacy. Okay, the, being like a p politician not insulting anybody we don't want to talk about any bad politicians or anything or e even good ones whatever but I, maybe i shouldn't even have that was the wrong word to use okay an ambassador like you're you're the representative of, of your embassy of your town of your you know and spirituality right now that we've hit is about love for all right it's about if you get something, people who know you are blessed because they know they're going to get it too. It's that, that kind of energy. Excuse my arm, I'm so sorry. My crusty elbow. Uh, okay, creativity. And the eighth house. I knew the eighth house was going to come. I didn't say anything. I was like, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> Saturn and uh, Saturn and, and um, Pluto are back on track and they're going to be blossoming on a huge amount of creativity. They, they want to let this stuff out of the gates. Okay. And um, what I was going to say about the eighth house is, you know, Pluto is like uh, the hitman and the surgeon and he's like, he don't miss nothing. He's got, he's, he's watching, he's the camera in the corner, right? He's the camera recording everything in the corner, the spy camera. Nobody knows it's there, but there's Pluto. There's, you know, he keeps deep, deep, deep secrets. And uh, Saturn is the, uh, the men in black, you know, the government that, that 
the, the men in black okay so you got the hitman the surgeon you got the hitman and the men in black so the mafia the guys that you don't mess with around with you know you just you're like whoa you know like it got it just got serious when these two connect and are together they've been together all year except in retrograde so now they're both like going they're going out on the streets and they're walking on the cement with those black leather shoes on and um and the work boots no but i'm just kidding they are just they're moving forward now and they're taking no prisoners really these guys are badasses and nobody can mess with them like once you confront them it's like you're gonna lose you're gonna lose you are the loser and what saves you is your karma you've been good you've been good you've been a good girl you've been a good boy you've been acting right been treating your mama right been treating your dad right your kids <sighs> this is heavy this is heavy okay but look at this beautiful yellow energy that's with it well yeah okay so it actually came out with this one which is this is even more heavier than the other one i think they're both really not the best but um but this one's more heavy because it contains the secrets this one is the pandora's box and um it's transmuting the pain okay this is what it is Trans transformation pluto is transformation it is the ugliness you've experienced and making it into something beautiful okay um there's such a beautiful story i heard but i don't want to repeat it but it's just it's it's um it's the biblical stories the prophets losing everything noah losing everything no everybody turning his back on him his skin getting all crazy getting you know bumps and lumps whatever it was people were like disgusted and he kept faithful to our lord and he got more than he had before he got a brand new better wife young young addition he got new kids brand new fresh kids that were gonna be around even though he lost his first wife and his first kids i'm sure that was just such a huge tragedy but you're rewarded for your strength and for keeping keeping it together and acting from love and not being jaded from the things that happen to you you're rewarded for that so the eighth house says this transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions so we have had to learn that we can't make it on our own it takes a tribe to build a vision of takes a village to build a to build up a child and um if we have chosen wrong people around our children they can they become those traits of the, the wrong person and if we're not aware of who is in our child's lives or in our own lives and we invite them with our children there is a great freaking price to pay people okay yes you can't be going out you can't you have to you know it's sacrifice it's called sacrifice i i you had a kid, you can't be going out partying all the time, okay? You can't leave that kid with your mom all the time. You can't put that kid in front of the TV and the internet and have that be the babysitter all the time. I'm gonna, mm, mm, mm. that's just an example. But then you wonder why your kids don't wanna be with you, why your kids don't respect you. Um, while they're doing drugs and they may not be doing all this. It, this goes both ways though i feel like there's nasty parents out there doing stuff when they got good kids and the kids are like suffering and i feel it the other way around too so it's just energy i guess i'm picking up on the ethers but um i kind of getting a, a download about what's ha what's going to happen with uh more of the aquarius age of 2021 where a lot of, I feel like some young people who have gone through some traumatic things with their parents are going to be calling them out. So in 2021, I get a feeling of like people who have, uh, well, everybody has parents, but young, more, you know, Aquarius age, young millennials are going to be calling out their parents like crazy shit that they did. You know, oh yeah, you know, my parents gave me a hit of weed when I was 
three years old you know like crazy ass stuff where they're going to be calling out stuff like that you know like even worse but this is what i'm picking up but those kids are, are right now um they're healing i feel and they're they're coming out with some creative stuff and and this is like platforms that are coming out as well i feel for that also um if you're trying to build your own business uh if you are in the in the market to get your own business going i feel this is a very good uh omen a very good sign that your creativity is going to be soaring and you're going to make money honey because this is kachang kachang all right as well all right <laughs> so much love and light let's get um which is angela hartfield let's get these cards that are just calling out to me at this moment this is a gorgeous reading i'm wishing you such a great day oh you know what let's find out what the message is i mean it does look like it's going to be a good message but we never did find out what this beautiful message is so let's go ahead and get another deck and i'm going to use the romance deck oh yeah so this is um a beautiful deck that i don't see much many use but it's, it's, this is amazing deck, actually. I'm really resonating for, with this. It's just beautiful. It's Italian. Uh, it's... What's the map word I want to say? It's called the Romance Deck. Maybe I should let you know what it's called. As I'm really giving it a great <laughs> review. <laughs> My mother the other day i said hey you guys i'm gonna go get some pizza at Lido's, or i'm gonna go get a, a meatball okay this is this place that's been around since 1958 and um it's lovely the cops love it my we used to go there as a family i used to we used to go with my son's father he when we go grab a bite all together as a family they have these beautiful red booths you know the red booths like the in italian places oh i love the red booths I could tell you all the places, most a lot of the good places in LA that have these really cool red boots, and that's like a little I don't know, I don't know. It's it's really interesting. Okay, so um, I said, yeah, you know, they they give you a cheap meatball with tons of tomato on it, tomato sauce, uh, and it's and it's it's delicious. I said, and the price is right, you know, and it's like less than it's like five bucks, whatever. And the price is really right, and my mom's like, wow, you you really know how to sell that place. You could advertise for that. <laughs> she's got quite a sense of humor uh okay so i'm advertising for them good for you the cops love it all right good go get it all right so the message i really want to hear about this message this beautiful message coming wow we got a king we got a king you know how i love me the kings okay we got a, a man who's mature who's um coming in from a place of empathy warmth affection um he un he's very understanding you could give him your your most horrible experience in your life and this man will not judge you he might end up loving you more because he's like wow this person's brave enough to share that and what they've been through and he'll see your true your true light he'll really he really sees you as um he sees your soul okay that's what i'm gonna say now this person's been on uh hangman energy they've been emotional and they've been trying to get new perspective on life and so with this full moon i think they are going to get that yeah they, they already did page of wands this is a beautiful image of the page of wands uh, he's bringing flowers men don't do this anymore okay maybe this is why I like this deck so much because it's like really showing gestures of how men used to be romantic and courting women and so this is an energy of you're going to be courted this person had to go through um, a different perspective they might have been drinking and, and lost in drugs they might have been like in la la land like I don't even want to deal with this they might have been um, I think what I get more than anything, they were emotionally stuck with their past and they were uh, clinging on to the, an ex-love 
and what love was going to be with that person but it never came to that and it's it just releasing that illusion of what what it was and then you came in and they're like i can have this ten of cups i i now i really can i can i can have this ten of cups with this with this person now so it's it's more like there's two messages coming in my dears some of you might get two people almost i feel like some of you um okay there's three energies okay so some of you this this is gonna happen they see you as the empress they want to come to you okay they're stuck but they envision you they envision they have a dream to come to you and tell you that they um adore you that they want to be with you that, that that they see they feel so emotionally content with you that you're the one that you're the one that they want to share life with okay but that's a pretty big bold statement and coming in all like you know strong i don't know aries moon you never know but uh there's somebody that is not gonna that wants it and they're not gonna take the action and do it there's an energy of like i feel I feel like there's like a juggle joker energy going on here where uh, we have somebody that's missing the sliding door and not walking through it. And we have somebody that saw that sliding door and is going to walk through it and make those moves. Okay, let's, that's, those are the messages. So have patience. Love is patient and kind always okay this is the best thing uh corinthians 13 13 this that statement is from the bible people okay corinthians 13 13 i was like oh i love this i see them on dating apps i'm like do you guys even read the bible do you even know what you're putting up okay so love is patient love is kind never love never judges you know love is all accepting so this is this is this energy and this is what you've done you've transmuted now again i the, the lotus always always represents plutonian energy to me so the lotus this is they've transformed pain you've transformed your pain and you're uniting and meeting in one in one in one in, okay in one that's all i'm gonna say that's beautiful okay transmuting you have you have uh passed the test here you passed the test so right now it's about rest and relaxation is essential um this is a okay we all have the fundamental need to take a break so they're they're like recovering from this they're still in the a lot of are still in the place of recovery look poseidon's there poseidon's been talking to me a lot okay and that's like the god of the underworld um and it could be pluto too but <clears throat> they're telling you to rest to relax to just wait to just enjoy life be in your spiritual self um, with creativity and love for yourself, for human, human, humankind, for all creatures. And this, this, this soon will pass. This soon will pass. But this is going to be a wonderful passing. There's going to be. You don't even want it to pass. So you just start envisioning it, bringing it to you. Keep focused on that. Okay. So thank you. I outdid the music. Um, Thirty minutes almost. But this is the most gorgeous message on the day of the full moon in Aries. Blessings, light. Keep your vibe high. Much love. Bye-bye.